Hello. Good evening. I don't remember how this game works at all. But it's so gorgeous. Alright, uh, that's not run. That's run. That's focus. And my combat buttons don't do anything at the moment. Where am I going? I don't remember. I started off facing this way. So that's probably the right one. It's weird because I've got OBS up on my left monitor and I've got my surface open to my right to see chat. Uh, and so I'm net seeing three versions of the game all at slightly different uh, times in my gameplay experience. Okay, so I need to find those three symbols in order to unlock this door. That's how this game works. Okay. So it's a... Uh, I don't know the names for those runes. It's a... Ribbon... An S and an X. Uh, what do I do here? Focus. However, yeah. you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love, Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. Ribbon S X. That's cool. I don't know if that's happened before. I'm gonna up my mic a bit. My not my mic, my headphones. And turn off my stereo boost because this game is recorded by Norally. Those look promising. Okay, cool. There's my... Hmm. That's definitely my ribbon, but I don't think I'm at the right angle. has whispered to me. And I mute my surface. There we go. Okay. So I can get over to the other side. Oh, that's also a thing. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. All sorts of notifications. D&D game. Alright, there's my ribbon. Oh, damn. Do I need to focus on the door first? I think I need to focus on the door first. Damn. Okay, be right back. I warned y'all that I might not remember. Also one of those rare games where you have to use an action button on a ladder in order to get on it, which I'm cool with. I don't like accidentally going on ladders. Hela possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. 
The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize. Half black Ooh. and half the color of flesh. And her face is menacing and grim. So, hell is half black and half white, and as I, as bad things happen to me, I, uh, my arm, this blackness spreads up my arm, and according to the game, when I, uh, when the blackness reaches my heart, I die, I believe? Okay. So. There. Now my phone is quiet. All right, so I have one of the three rooms. And I passed by the areas for the rest of them where I was. I do not remember this hint thing, this S like the rune floating around and giving me a hint. Um, I mean, it must have been there, right? But. So that'll line up and become an S, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Avery MD, I wasn't going to call you out for. Uh for messaging and disrupting my stream, but uh, we can we can talk about who I was shushing if you'd like. All right, X is gonna be here. Can I? Mm. Eh. Come on. Not quite. There we go. I'm a little worried about this whole uh, fight thing that's surely coming up in a moment. Am I not doing this right? There we go. Also, it's an interesting experience having chat active while playing this game, in which there are voices and strange sounds in my ears. So that round thing on my hip is my lover's head. Going to hell in order to resurrect him. Yes, the source of the darkness. Also, I it's clearly am schizophrenic. This is your moment. Oh fuck! Uh. I'm sorry. The one who apologized just left. Just walked your back. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. Oh, shit. My sword.
stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. Oh, the stereo is so creepy. They say dreams are visions it's of right our memories, ear. thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eyes. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Mm. Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through our eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. Mm. It's good. You failed the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Curse. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's a curse. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. It's everywhere. Oh, what's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Oh, uh, yeah, content warning for uh, insanity and potentially self-harm and dark shit. Let me, let me put that in. Oh, fuck. Why go on when you give everything and face that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined? Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling. a VR version of this game, that might be way too much for me. Dillion is the X. Well, not the X, the the dead partner. need a new sword there are these like uh animal skull things that keep trying to kill me i need something to fight them off with also running isn't working out for me at the moment To run is a bad, bad idea. Where are you going? See, there's nothing to
before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's inbound made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. So she is Celtic, but that was her world. visiting Norse regions. Like this one, barren. She remembers the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. With the gloom lifted. For the first time in years, she felt. A ray of hope. Whatever that is, in favor of this dancing figure. So I've already fought the fire being, and this might be Hella's area. I just don't remember what the what the actual theme is. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him, affecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last. Prettiest anything has ever been in this game. I think else has been damp and ugly.
しないの I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh, Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. No one? Well, I, I watched you, and. You learned all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trial. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you, make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel it. Whatever's left that of might you, be the first time she's made eye contact with a camera. Go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Yet. Maybe likewise that one. There are a lot of them. forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need this sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, 
but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said the great warrior can reforge ground by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the tree of death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. So the truth that that voice is the person who taught her of Norse uh, legends. He had been captured as a slave by Northmen. Forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. Wrong, it's. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tierving. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, forces itself onto our friends or loved ones. Then comes the reckoning. Walls. Well, I don't like what the walls are doing at all. Who's there? Billion, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? Oh, I just dropped out of the game for a sec. I could light that. I've got a window. Or a skylight. I can't. Can't get through there. That's where Dillion was. Lighting this, did I change something up above? Okay. Okay. There's a there's branches there and branches there. So if I look from above, do I get a thing? This might not be what I'm supposed to do because it is so slow. I 
cannot run. Hmm. Alright, I don't think I can get up there. I still can't run. So... Porch branches. There's a sword hanging from the branches. Shadow a thing? There's a light there. Shining from there. I feel like I'm missing something obvious here. There's light shining. There's branches. Fire. Let me look this up real quick, because I don't want to just keep walking around in circles. And what a sacrifice. Trials. Torch. Seems like good keywords. No, internet. I know for a fact there's internet. I'm actively streaming. What are you talking about? our trial go through did I miss a side passage is this the labyrinth trial Ah, I missed a side passage. Okay. Good to know. I'll find him. Was that the man? Did you hear that? Nothing. Was that voices? Those are the last three voices that touched the walls. You don't know what they might do. Turn back. She has to keep going. It's not safe. Has to keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. 
That's creepy. I lit... So the only things that are lit are the things that I lit. I'm gonna state that. I can hear him. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with Screen space reflections. Above all, the sword, Tyrvin. So, if you look at the shot right now, this usually has, like, flawless graphics, so it is interesting to see it not be flawless. Um, and in this case, so, that reflection should look wrong to you. What's going, if you trace the, the beam of light that should be going from our eyes to the water to the torch, it doesn't make any sense. Um, what they're doing is they're saying, okay, what is on the screen above the water? And doing some magic on it. But I bet since the flame is special effects, it's not getting properly depth calculated. And so that's why you're seeing it in the water. So screen space reflection. It's far, far cheaper than uh, other kinds of reflection. I can't tell which direction it's coming from. I think it's coming from this way. the right it's not real it's not real we told you we told you it was a trick still from the right Going the right way now. What the fuck? Dillion wants me to face my fears. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through no, you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. Her scar is gone. I uh, can see the darkness probably a war in warning eyes, for domestic abuse here. Boy. Boy, Chief, no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said it could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. 
apparently. I knew this was edgy, but I forgot my hand. how rough it was. I knew it was You're rough, but I, it's rougher than I remembered. No. You will not defy the path. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Then what? No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Well, she made it through that trial. It's done. You did it, but there's more. There's more. Your time has to keep going. There's still more. It's not going to be easy. The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out when Sigmund is fading away. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. So they consulted extensively with mental health experts to make this game. And I don't think I've ever had hallucinations. But it rings very, very true to me in a way that many depictions of mental illness don't. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. The air is gone. Keep going. How do you find it? It's a test. Like the old warrior trials. You probably, in your state, should not be emerging yourself in. Yeah. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water. She could taste the rot. Not too much. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. Soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing, and they knew that she was not like them. So I think these gateways do something once activated. I don't want to get back in that water, it's gross. Oof, quarantine house. Get up there. 
here somehow. Can I like get onto the roof? No. Oh. There's a thing there. I think, yeah, I think up high is the right approach to take. If I can get to that ladder, which I don't seem to be able to. Man, that doorway is not yet active. Hmm. Stairs? I get to those stairs. No. Alright, so if that's a broken bridge, yeah, I need to see it from above and to this to screen left in order to get it properly mended. That would require getting to that tower somehow. Which means I either need to get up those stairs over there up that ladder. I can't get to that ladder, I don't think. I can't climb that. That's impassable. That arch is not yet active. I can't climb any of this. Oh, there's something red. Which usually means something, but I've got nothing. Climb this arch. Oh, vine. I can get. Right? This vine. No, I can't, like, walk along that. That's far too narrow. Maybe... Maybe if I go from down and to the right, I can line it up. Wouldn't need to go that that far back, would I? It's a long walk. Gross water. Can I get up here? No. Not that way. Alright. Checking. Checking this guide again. 
Swamp Shard Trial. I don't remember having this much trouble with these before I resumed playing, back when I was playing this before. Let's see. Lost in your reflection, da da da. Okay, looks like maybe these arches work differently than the ones before. So there's, there's that shimmery debris, but if I look at it through this arch... Oh, okay, that's what it's doing. So that debris right there goes away okay so presumably that's what I can do with the other arch oof it's very subtle which I think is aesthetically appropriate but uh, from a readability in gameplay standpoint is a little rough All right so I think I need to get through there That doesn't change. What about that? Haha. -ha. Okay. The Northmen speak of a death moon. A light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm. And first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. But that is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware, because there will be death in that house. All right. And I think if I do this and make the debris come back, yep, okay. To climb the tower. The ladder. What me? You can see it. Align to the tree. Bridge. She did it. I don't know that it ever went this long between combat uh, before. I felt like my previous sessions were kind of alternating between exploration and combat. General, come to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? Come out if you are. Where is he? Find him. You have to find him. The runes. Focus. Focus on the runes. Delius! They're coming for me! Oh, fuck. Oh. Uh. Okay. Okay. 
So don't go that way. Oh fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Run! Run now! Run! It's not safe here! Run! Send one! You don't run! Your sword! You can't find Where's your sword? Defend yourself to ease that creature! You can't Shit. Why for a moment popped up? Fuck, I can't get near that thing. Whatever it is. I guess I need to run. Fuck! What the shit? Shit, 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 shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Alright, light. Go toward the blue. Stay away from the orange. Alright. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I can hear it behind me. such a thing. Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. The lighting in this game is really good too. Oh, you're not a monster, Senwa. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? You're going through some shit, that's all. What if we're wrong? The sword will never be yours. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. It's just a pointless spice. You've been fooled before, you could be fooled again. You don't know. It's just their game for you. You never know which way it's going to go. <laughs> I want to tell you a story 
about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise, but a little too human. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Just the right amount of too human. So this whole, like, going to stones and being transported to other areas thing is totally distinct to this area. I I thought that this was, like, just one area among several. But it's got a completely different structure than the first one I did. So that lets the stairway. This works kind of like the arches. Seems to be shining just straight through that wall. Huh. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood. Beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Oh wait, is that a thorn? Damn, I'm really bad on my runes. That's a really advanced lock for the tech level that I expect these folks to have. She will. Settling base hit there. Dillian, there he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through the door. He disappears. Dillian, don't lose him. Can't duck under that tree branch. Many times. You always let him disappear. Dillian, there he is. Where is he? Where's he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. He's chasing her. Dillian, love. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. 
the world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dilly and daughter to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senno explored new paths into the unknown. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. You are guilty. the wrong angle. Do you know? Was it worth it? You're still alive and Dillian's dead. line. Do you remember the smell of his neck? Oh, is it a shadow? Aha. Senwa, you've got it. He was the only one that really loved him. Why isn't he here? He did love her. He's gone. He's in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. He's in the other world. The dark world. Without you. I like the puzzle hints framed as horrific whispering voices in your head. It's good. I mean, I mean, it's bad. Like, it's not pleasant. But. It's effective. Oh, of course. 
doors. This is locked. Nope. Oh, okay. So there he is. Where are you taking him? He's, he's up there. How do you get up there? There's a way. There is a way up there. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Hood, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Hood says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Hood throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hood is slain. I do like the portrayal of Norse gods as irresponsible frat bros that comes up in various media. saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement, an intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian, her future. Realities tearing at her soul. movement but I do not spot the M like shape that's everywhere here. She thought she knew best. <laughs> she thought she had light within her when she was happy. She is pure darkness. Alright, was there a I think there was a rune stone down there I, that I skipped because of Ongoing narration, let me grab that. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground. Oh. Did not expect that to terminate the narration. My bad. Bursts with grief, and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. So, based on the fact that that sound stopped when normally it only stops from distance, and the speed at which this loads the specific speed like not too fast not too slow i'm guessing that these two areas exist in the same virtual space but like offset from each other so like this this light world is in a little island in the 3d space and the dark world is in another nearby island that oh that's continuous remember Dillian. or we just get teleported back and forth between overcome with grief 
the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. Bridge but if even one in thing in refuses, the in the day, Baldur stays the with light me. World. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur. Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been lurking in the sky. Weird that the camera will float behind those walls. This camera has usually been impeccable. Everything has broken. You killed him with your love because he believed in you. Like it should be. Should listen to your father when you had the chance. Why didn't oh, you listen hold on. to him? His love has tortured you, and it tortures the Wasting your you have Got no it. time for this. Speed is up. It's all part of the game. You fit your trials to distract you. They set you up, and now they're going to watch you. What if these trials mean nothing? It's laughing at. Light world where oh hey that's a very helpful camera angle thank you uh, need to be reversed what if this is right. what are you doing arrow pointing up The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. this world.
I guess he definitely controlling the balance here. Chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. Had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly. Shit. The darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're this is the most effective balancing that I've seen in a game. Even though this is a very well established mechanic, the Dutch angle on the camera really helps. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Father cannot understand your darkness. Oh, the fucking video. I cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light to me. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? You give up the beautiful world that you, only you can see, just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking them from the inside. You're out. disappearing one memory. Say that their all father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. That's not video. I'm right here. Can't you see me? Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. I've got a controller rumble. Tell me what you feel. The breeze. Good. And there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. I think I'm following the rumble. The I mean, others. also there's that doorway. The but... voices, they've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet. It's so dark. It's okay. Listen to your own the breath. Rumble stopped. Rise and fall. Good. 
be aware of everything you hear and feel. Ooh, the scale is off in an interesting way. Furniture is the wrong size. I can't go on. Lillian? Find a way. I'm not leaving you here. Burn your hand. I think I'm somewhere else now. But the breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? I hear water. Go to it. Reach the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow it upstream. So sorry. Good luck with your end too. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of me. It won't let me go. Genoa. My father, he taught me that the hardest battles are fought in the mind, not the soul. You're no coward. You proved that to me in warrior trials. This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't so bad. You don't have to help them. I want to. Besides. Seems there's no escaping the past in this place. So she's forced to relive it. To what end? I remember the press talking a decent amount about this game when it first first came out. I feel like this was a darling for like best indie indie of 2017 maybe. Um, I, mm, it may have been pre-Waypoint. Or maybe just during the time when I wasn't listening to I Waypoint. I can't go on this way. Then look for another way, and tell me what you find. There is a house. It's gorgeous, and I think very well handled. Like, her... Neurodivergence or illness or whatever is very much a part of the plot, but also not like that's not the conflict. Like, her goal is not to overcome her illness. She's got other shit going on, it's just part of it. Ah, the Arkham card game. Lovecraft known very well for handling mental illness real well. The fuck is that? And is this the same space? Uh-oh. There's a hook. 
Same space as that fire thing was chasing me. What the fuck? No, 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 no. Oh, it's worse when I can't hear it very well. Uh, that's not an exit. Fuck. Shit. <gasps> Shit. Oh, the source material does not handle madness as well as, like, fucking Call of Cthulhu, which is sort of the industry standard for... Well, I guess Call of Cthulhu at least isn't... Uh, insanity makes you evil. This is unsettling. Call of Cthulhu is more... If you try and learn things, you go insane. I'm dissolving. There's things in the darkness that are moving and whispering. It's interesting to have a, a kind of a, a blindness segment where I'm still moving from light to light because Oh shit, what the fuck is that? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't, didn't like that experience. I think I'm in a house. Color. Darkness is testing you. You are in control. Oh no. A balance beam when I can't see? Oh no. No, 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 no. Fuck. Death. 
the darkness is testing you. You are in control. up on that well don't uh. Probably the worst one yet. I can see a light. Yes, I can see you too. Oh, I can run again. were open but you were gone and when it finally let her go she could be anywhere with no memory of how she got there when it comes back I have no power over it but here for the first time someone was there to help but I heard your voice You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. Well, the trials are done. With grammar reforged, you will have Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. strength to pass the warrior trials and she saw a way out to leave her past behind and become a warrior in Dillian's clan the sword is tainted by the gods of darkness leave it no. he left it here he wants me to take it you will pay a price for this Years later, with Zinbal's parting words still haunting her, the
the darkness came back with a vengeance. A plague. Tony? Everyone suffered. My father was not supposed to die like this. This is your fault. <laughs> you brought this plague to us. <laughs> you have blood on your hands. Is that real? They're coming that for Dillion you. Man. actually They're said. Coming. It's been a while. I forgot how this works. My hip indicates my focus, which I can gain by blocking or over time. In the sea of corpses, the corpse and when I focus, over the ones I time love. slows down. The oh, that's creepy. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is secret. Come not here in the sun. Come not with a sword. Come not crying over a naked corpse. Come not with disturbed well, I did all of those things. Oh, shit. This is, this is real rough. Do you hear the suffering, Senua? Does your precious gift of sight let you see the souls that rot here in this sea of corpses? Yes. Do you feel the blood running cold on your skin? Do you hear their endless cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? They were once brothers, sisters, and loved Shit. ones. And look at what you have done to them. All because you were a coward, because you banned from your curse instead of facing it. When you turned your back on the Father Zimbel, you turned your back on the gods and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they fuck for your Oof, that's a long time to spend without practicing. Yeah, this is what dreams may come ish. Sort of seas of texture and shape. I should. I should. I don't know if I want to rewatch that movie, but I should at least look at some of the more memorable scenes and see what they look like these days. Alright, let's do better this time. There we go. Not blocking time. Shields to get them down. Oh, 
shit. There's a decent amount of knowing how to read the cues of like when is my focus available and all that. And that is hard to come back to after a break. Take him down. Watch out. Shit. Now. Senoa, go to her. Answer her pitiful call. The darkness took her life and it will take you. It's taking you further and further into the darkness. Can I go through that arch? I'm all turned around. Bullshit. It's not too late. She's calling for you. Why don't you join her? I can do this. Oh shit.
shit. I need to block better. I know! They're always behind me. I'm trying to put them in front of me. A lot of these motherfuckers. No, 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 no. Shit. Okay. end of the game? Did I? Was I further along than I remembered? you dodge and not block these biggins with the cool hair. Oh, fuck. Shit. I 
don't think big one's down. Although I've lost track of Ah, all right. I did get big one. Where the fuck am I going? Mom? Oh, hey. You both did. You both surrendered to the voices. The darkness has taken you. Galena and Sith. Galena and Sith. <laughs> Hold on tight, horrific burning corpses. Hey, Mom. I can't fight it anymore. gave up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother to go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her Senua look at me Calling for me. We've lost so many. And I've lost my father. I can't lose you. You said I have blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Sinu was right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poison. And his words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? Do you still believe in Isenua? In us? They model him, or is that just really, really well done video? That's video. That's superimposed. I can't imagine what this looks like in VR. They had to have done some sort of death mapping on him to make it work. Good unsettling camera pan. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. You gave her the sword with which to fight in more ways than one. And she gave him her word never to surrender. Gorgeous she blade. Was a little help. A little hope. She's lost a little bit of her face paint there in, in all this. I think I'm actually going to... Do I want to take a break or do I want to stop for the night? I think I'll stop for the night. Let me go to... Let me get a... Quick save notification. And then I will... Call it. Ugh. I need to keep playing this game. It's so good.
so glad I don't get auditory hallucinations. This would be real rough. I guess I very, very occasionally get whatever you call it when you just hear a voice. And it's clearly not there. But it's just like, once every few years I will hear a word or two. Into the mountain. Can you see it? Shall we tell her where to go? Go on. Look. Just up there. This way to your right. That's it. Shall we tell her where to go? Hmm. Shall we? Does she know which way to look? Does she know where to never the mountain? She's a rough. It's never difficult. It's always like, oh, that was weird. Like these voices too. Go on. There's a door. You can do it. You can see. Come on, Sarah. Go away. I'm not listening. Good for you, Senwa. Fuck those voices. Whatever that is over there is cool. achievement. Surely there was a checkpoint in there somewhere. I just... I don't want to have to replay more I of this game. Of a great I hero have to. Named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafner, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner, Fafner hid the dragon? treasure out on a heath and yep. could not leave it. And from the evil in his Self heart, dap. he turned into a dark creature. Not really, I'm holding a controller. A dragon. sound okay there's my checkpoint that I noticed so I think I will call it here before I fight Fafnir uh, thank you for hanging out with me um, for a harrowing harrowing game and uh, yeah this is Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice and um, I'm definitely going to play more of it Talk to you later.